the Baliam Valley in the highlands of West Papua remains one of the remotest corners of the planet. Sealed off from the world by its geography, and more recently by the Indonesian government. The latest phase of an Indonesian military campaign to eradicate the Papuan independence movement and its armed wing, the OPM, is being fought here in the highlands. Although now effectively locked off to journalists and international agencies, sporadic news has filtered out this year of the killing of Highlanders, the burning of villages and up to 5,000 people being driven into the bush without access to their food gardens. For the first time, these tapes reveal eyewitness accounts of the recent military operations in the Highlands. <laughs> This testimony is consistent with the reports from church and human rights groups like El Sham and Contras, which have appeared this year. Of particular concern to the Indonesians are flag raisings like this. The raising of the Morning Star, West Papua's flag of independence. It's a recurring act of defiance which has consistently provoked savage reprisals from the Indonesians since they formally occupied the country in 1969. For 30 years, the OPM, led here by local commander Petrus Tabuni, has maintained an armed resistance in the bush and literally kept the West Papuan flag flying at secret ceremonies like these. These nationalist displays were briefly tolerated for a few years after the fall of President Suharto. Over the past 12 months, Megawati Sakana Putri has made it clear that she's ordered the army to take a hard line on any independence movements, and there are now reportedly thousands of troops laying siege to the valley. Petrus Tabuni is known as a hardliner within the OPM, but even he is aware of the futility of armed resistance to the Indonesians in the current campaign. He acknowledges that the ways of his generation need to change in today's political climate. Organisasi Papua Merdeka, OPM, sejak berdiri organisasi ini benar-benar 
memperjuangkan kemerdekaan penuh bagi rakyat Papua Barat tanpa elemen-elemennya. Saat kini muncul generasi baru Papua Barat perjuangan secara fisik oleh generasi tersebut dianggap sudah tidak relevan lagi dan tidak manusiawi. Mengapa generasi baru Papua Barat melakukan aksi demo secara damai? Ingin membuktikan kepada dunia internasional bahwa bangsa Papua Barat adalah bangsa yang beradab dan yang mampu mendapatkan sejajar dengan bangsa-bangsa lain di dunia. Dan bukan lagi manusia kanibal zaman batu sebagai dianggap bangsa Indonesia. Ingin membuktikan kepada bangsa lain di dunia bahwa tidak selamanya kemerdekaan suatu bangsa harus dicapai dengan kekerasan penubahan darah. OPM dan mengapa The tape was OPM also delivered with a formal letter. Kami mendesak dengan hormat kepada Presiden Republik Indonesia addressed to the governments of Indonesia, Australia, the United Nations and various other interested parties pleading for international intervention to end the military assault. Salah satu negara yang netral atau PBB. Demikian surat kami Panglima Tertinggi TVNOPM memegang mandat. Api perjuangan bangsa Papua di jantung bintang pengunungan tengah Papua Barat dikeluarkan di Makodap 3 Kuyang.